Welcome or welcome back to Really Haunted Places. Tonight's story takes you to haunted places in Massachusetts. This hospital was the setting for the movie Session 9 and the inspiration for H. P. Lovecraft's Arkham Sanatorium. What was originally meant for be a hospital for 600 patients eventually came to house over 2,300 mentally ill individuals. Such incredible overcrowding meant that conditions were dirty and staff could not keep up. On numerous documented occasions, patients would die in their rooms and would not be discovered until days later. Danvers is sometimes considered the birthplace of the prefrontal lobotomy due to the extent to which it was practiced and refined there. Everyone knows the story of Lizzie Borden. In a seemingly ordinary house, which is now a themed bed and breakfast, Lizzie Borden is alleged to have brutally murdered her father and stepmother. However, she was ultimately acquitted of the crime despite the general consensus that she was in fact guilty. It is no surprise that her former home and the scene of this horrific double murder is now considered to be one of the most haunted places in Massachusetts. Guests who dare to spend the night in Lizzie Borden's house say that they have been woken in the night by the sound of a woman weeping softly to herself. Other guests have witnessed shoes moving across the floor without being touched. Some have even encountered the apparition of an older lady who tries to tuck them into bed at night. It is believed that Abby and Andrew Borden, the two murder victims, are still in the house and some visiting psychics have also picked up on Lizzie herself. The house has hosted a number of paranormal television shows and they have all struggled with equipment failures as lights and equipment turn on and off at random in the house and some of the cameras have been moved or turned off while locked in a room without nobody around. Also called the Cursed Forest of Massachusetts, this place is truly creepy. The list of things reported to go on here is dizzying blood sacrifices, UFOs, ghosts, black helicopters, mysterious orbs of light, strange disappearances, giant snakes, poltergeist activity, murders, and on and on. Ronald Reagan reported seeing strange lights in the sky here and there have been an inordinate number of documented suicides in these woods. Also interesting are the reports of sightings of Pauledges, humanoid creatures from Wampanoag native tradition. The Hawthorne Hotel in Salem, Massachusetts has become something of a landmark for visitors since it was built in 1925. And not surprisingly the hotel has ghost stories, like so many other buildings in this haunted city. Due to the dark and bloody history which dates back to the witch trials of 1692, there are rumors that the hotel is haunted, although they have never been confirmed. The TV show Ghost Hunters did an extensive investigation in 2007, but their reports were inconclusive. Over the years, Guests have reported supposed activities in rooms 325 and 612. Some say they have seen the apparition of a woman lingering in the corridors, yet others have felt a more active presence in the rooms. The Belcher Town Town State School was built in 1922 to serve the mentally ill and became known for its inhumane conditions. Patients were sometimes left strapped to their beds for days at a time and staff sometimes removed patients' healthy teeth to make feeding them easier. The school was also infested with vermin. Today, the site is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. 
Taunton State Hospital, or the State Lunatic Hospital at Taunton as it was formerly known, was abandoned in 1975. In the 1800s, there were rumors that the hospital was being operated by a satanic cult who would take patients into the basement to conduct dark rituals and even human sacrifices. There are apparently still some strange and unexplained markings on the walls of the basements, and while the hospital was still open, staff would attempt to go downstairs into the basement area only for them to feel something physically stopping them from reaching that bottom step. Staff also reported seeing a shadow man who would crawl along the walls and often lurked in corners watching the patients. The most famous resident of Taunton State Hospital was probably serial killer Jane Toppin who killed more than 31 people while working as a nurse. It is no wonder this abandoned hospital is thought to be one of the most haunted places in the U.S. Fort Warren was named in honor of a Revolutionary War hero named Dr. Joseph Warren. It was first built in the Civil War era and remained in use intermittently up until the end of World War II. It is no longer in use as a fort but is open to the general public. A number of visitors have described seeing a woman in black haunting the fort. It is believed that this could be the restless spirit of a woman who was executed as a spy after being caught attempting to help her husband, a Confederate soldier, escape from the fort where he was being held as a prisoner. I want to thank you for watching. And until then, good night.